good afternoon to all our friends. We are truly delighted to be here with you again on another Sunday afternoon. And we're here with our gems, our precious gems from the South Leeward Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. It's an inspiration just to look at them. And when I think of the church and I think of the future, I think of all these boys and girls who are right here with their bright smiles, their brilliant minds and ready to make a difference in the world. This afternoon, we are specially favored with guests from Barbados. Yes, our friends from Barbados are here with us this afternoon and we're happy to have you. Welcome to the South Leeward Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. So just give a wave, everybody. Just give a wave so that persons can see a beautiful smile. And we're also welcoming Barbados at this time. Welcome, Barbados. The South Leeward Conference is a place to be. This afternoon, we have a special guest. She's going to be our co-host. She is going to be the one who is motivating and encouraging and inspiring you. And her name is Mrs. Eugenie Burton. She is from the UK, but she holds an Antiguan passport. So we're, we're delighted also to welcome her to join us this afternoon. Hi, Eugenie. Uh, hi, good afternoon, everyone. I can't wait to see how this goes down. I'm so excited. Uh, I love quizzes and I can't wait to see what these children uh, know and how much they know. I'm really excited to get going. Lovely, and we shall ask you to prefer us to begin this afternoon. Okay. Our kind and heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for keeping us uh, safe thus far. We ask that you will be with us now as uh, we go into the quiz. You know, Lord, that these children have been studying your word and I ask that it, it gets into their hearts and stays with them for the rest of their lives, that they can live a life just for you. So be with us now, Lord. Bless the proceedings and uh, keep us safe. All these things I ask in your most holy and precious name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. And this is the time I look forward to when all our participants introduce themselves. And at this time, we'll share the introductions, Eugenie, as we bring them on the screen. We're going to take the participants from Montserrat first. Montserrat, they are the, the well, the one last week and they're oh. here to so as champions we are celebrating you in style and ask that you would introduce yourselves first at this time Montserrat. my name is Gavon Gallo and i'm six years old and i represent Montserrat. welcome Gavon. we're truly happy to have you my name is molly jean pierre and i'm 11 years old and i'm representing Montserrat. hi molly jean Welcome. Hi, my name is Shawnee Williams. I am 13 years old and I'm representing the beautiful Emerald of Montserrat. Hi, Shawnee. It's so nice to have you here. Yes, it's truly a delight. And now we shall have the persons from St. Kitts. Hi, my name is Azian Smithen. I'm 15 years old and I'm representing St. Kitts. Hi, Azian. It's so nice to have you with us, with a nice big smile as well. Hi, my name is Zalik Shran and I'm representing St. Kitts. Thank you, Zalik, for introducing yourself. Welcome. Thank you. And now we'll have our representatives from Antigua. Hi, my name is Shamri Samuel. I am seven years old. And I'm from Antigua. Welcome, Sean Marie. I see the flag. No bias here. <laughs> no, no, no bias at all. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jenny Williams. I am 15 years old and I'm from Antigua. Welcome, Janai. Nice to have you here. And now we have our friends from Barbados. They shall introduce themselves to us at this time. My name is Marion Riley. I am from the island of Barbados and I am eight years old. Well, welcome, Marion. It's so wonderful to have you here all the way from the beautiful island of Barbados. Welcome. Next from Barbados. My name is Marika. I am 15 years old and I am from Barbados. Hi, Marika. Nice to see you as well. 
Thank you for coming and being a part of this quiz. Hello everyone, my name is Demari Letter. I'm from Barbados and I'm 12 years old. Hi, 12 year old Dem Demari. So nice to have you here, welcome. Yes, and those are our participants for this afternoon. You know, Mrs. Burton, I'm really looking forward to this afternoon because the boys and girls have studied and the topic that we are studying today is spiritual gifts and ministries. Yes, oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, that's an amazing topic. It's like, you know, everyone has a gift and um, we don't have to have all the gifts. <laughs> we just need to have even one. And that's wonderful. I, and I can't wait to see the gifts that these children have. And I'm sure they're going to be really, really amazing answering the questions. So now let's get ready for round one. Yes. Can't wait. Every day, God has given us different privileges, different opportunities just to study God's words and to have the boys and girls here this afternoon. And those of you who are at home, you can listen and you too can make sure that you study God's words. Absolutely. So, so round one. Yes, round one. And Jessamenda from St. Kitts, they're all in, boys and girls, parents. I wonder what is going to happen this afternoon. What is going to happen this afternoon? We'll see. It's so exciting. And this is the first round. So, you know, they may be a little bit nervous. I know I'm nervous. So I can't <laughs> wait to see what happens. Ready? Let's get those questions up. And let's see how these guys are going to answer these questions. And I'm sure they've studied really, really hard. Here we go. Here we go. All right, 10 there's questions. Question. And there's the first question. God gives each one of us a special gift or talent so that we could work for him. I guess that's true or false. Yes, I can see they're the climbing time. higher. Here we go again. Number two. According to 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 1, each of us has received a gift to serve others. Come on, children. Let's see these answers going in. We have 10 seconds left. Oh, those points are going up. And they're moving higher. Wonderful. Now we're going into question three. All the people in the church who use their special gifts together. Is that true or false? Oh. You know, in the church sometimes... We do not always use our gifts together. And here the boys and girls are studying about God's gifts. Yes, that's How right. Gifts. And, and you know, sometimes we don't even use the gifts at all. True. Some people in the church have no spiritual gifts. Is that true or false? Oh, yes. that's a good question. <laughs> and we see St. Kitts is ahead. And Marianne is, Barbados is close behind of St. Kitts. Yes. Wow. Wow. We're going through these so fast. Question five, halfway through already. Spiritual gifts and talents are not given by the Holy Spirit. Is that true or false? And I see Sean Mary has gone ahead. Already answered. Huh. They're quick. This boys and girls are really quick. They're doing so well. I'm excited about the, what they're doing here this afternoon. And we're in question number six. Teaching and healing are the only gifts given to people in the church. Oh. Let's see. Let's see these, these answers. Oh, and they're right up. Still going strong. You're doing so well, children. Here we go. Question seven. Wow. If we do not use our gifts, we will lose them. Is that true or false? Yes. Sometimes we have our gifts and we do not use them. What will happen to those gifts? Let's see how well they answer. They're all putting That's points right. on the board. They're doing so very well. Yeah, we're going, to be, we're going to be, those points are going up and up. Question eight. Anyone who has the gift of service also has the gift of healing. Is that true or false? What, they really would have to study to know these um, answers. That's right, because I'm thinking myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lovely, lovely. And now it's question number nine. All members cannot serve in the church. Oh, it's a good one. Come on, guys, that's it. We're into our last question, question 10. Here we go. 
The fundamental belief we are studying is called what? Austin ah. And on the board, we have lots of points. At lots of points. With over 7,000. And, and Marianne, 7,000. Jasmine, 6,000. Devon, 4,000. And it seems as if Zane is probably having an internet connection problem. Sorry, Zane. Right. But this was really a good round. All of you worked so well and you did so very well. Wow. Wow. Over 8,000. That's amazing. Well done, Sean Marie. Well done. Well done. All of you did so well. Well, well done. done, all of you. Really good. And these boys and girls, are, they're just between the ages of seven and nine, and they have done so well. It shows the importance of children studying God's Word. Absolutely. When they start now, even at that age, it's going to be in their heart, and it's going to stay with them for the rest of their life. That's Amen. wonderful, children. Well done. Round one complete. And now Over we're gonna... eight thousand points we've got, and they're very they're high scoring. I'm so impressed. Well done. Well done. And now we get ready for round two. That was a good round. I, you know the boy the study. Look at those points that were on the board, and they, oh, this was just amazing. Just yeah. Amazing. It was a fantastic round and now we're into round two and this is going to, I'm sure this is going to be just as exciting and as we're learning all about the spiritual gifts, I think it's so wonderful that, you know, even the gifts that these children have to read the word of God and to retain what they've learned in it and so they can use it for his glory, use it for God's glory and now to show that they have learned and retained all the information that they've learned while they've been studying his word. Wonderful, wonderful. So now we're ready to start. Round two, here we come. All right, here we go into round two. Now let's see how we go in question one. Fill in the missing word. Each one of us has received a dash to use the script. And they have already put the Oh, they're, play, they're going in and they're up already. They are serious. Let, let's see how they do. Question two is coming up. This is going to be an exciting round. Fill in the missing word. According to 1 Peter 4, verse what? Each one of us has received a gift to serve others. Let's see. Come on, guys. All right, those answers are in. And they are moving. Oh, this is going to be, this is so exciting already. Question three is coming up. Let's see if it's just as exciting as the first two. Fill in the missing words. Spiritual gifts are given by the Holy Spirit to help church members too. They have to know. Yes, they have to know. The, the Holy Spirit gives us those gifts. And it's so amazing to be able to serve God with the gifts that he's given us. Wonderful, Question four. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Question four. Fill in the missing word. The person who has the gift of prophecy should use that gift in agreement with the... Oh, those questions. They're answering these questions so quickly. They must know everything. Question five already. Fill in the missing word. God has given each one of us special gifts all so we could work for him. We sure can work for it. Oh, I can't even say anything. It's done already. Question six. six. So quickly. This is awesome. So quick. This is word. Everyone has the gift of showing mercy. Should do so with. They need to study. Wonder what the yes. answer is. Okay. They are answering before time. This is amazing. Well done, guys. This is so insane. This is a lightning round. Question seven. Fill in the missing word. God gives everyone in his church special gifts to use in serving others and building dash among members. And building what? Is it faith? Is it unity? Is it love? They need to know. And the married of Barbados is ahead. All right. <laughs> yes, that's right. Let's keep moving, guys. We're getting up and up that mountain. <laughs> Question eight coming up. Get your fingers ready. The Holy Spirit provides us with gifts such as prophecy and compassion. Is that true or false? Is that true or false? That is a very good question. But they know they've answered already and they're moving up that mountain. Yes, the Holy Spirit gives us so many, gives us a gift. And are we using it? That is the question. Number nine. Each one of us is a dash 
of our gifts and talents. I don't, oh. even know what, I don't know what that one is. I, I don't know either, but they surely do know because they've already answered. You guys are amazing. <laughs> and question 10 coming up. This is like a quick round. This is quick. According to Matthew 25, 14 to 30, if we do not use our gifts, we will? Oh, what will happen to us if we don't use our wonderful gifts that God has given us? And not everybody does. And it's such a shame because if God's given us those gifts, then that means that they wow. will be amazing. Now, let's see. Wow, wow. Look at the board. Look at that board. Wow. And the board. Excellent. They have yes. And it's close as well. This is amazing. These guys clearly knew exactly what those answers were they answered them so quickly i couldn't even speak it was amazing i'm so impressed with you guys well done guys well done and you can see as well that it was very competitive because the first was last the last was first and middle of us it was yeah. amazing round well done that was awesome i love it congratulations boys and girls oh y'all are so brilliant love you well done wow that was good I can hardly breathe, you know. But I know. <laughs> I'm a bit out of breath as well. I, like, I couldn't get my words out because they were just answering and shooting up that mountain. Well done, guys. Very well done. Brilliant. Brilliant. Now we go to round three, our final round. Cool. And so now, you, Jenny, we're ready for our final round. Round oh, three. Oh, yes. If it's anything like the last one, I'm, I'm super excited. Let's get going. All right. So we have, um, I think we have majority of the islands here. We're waiting for them to connect. And I'm so excited. This is, uh, how, what age group are these? These are the 13 to 15 year old age groups. 13 to 15. Okay. So I wonder if they're faster than the, than the previous age group. I can't wait. I can't wait. can't wait. I really can't wait. So now we're ready to begin. Let's roll. Here we go. Question one. Gifts are to be used for the common good of the church and humanity. True or false? Come on, it's how quickly you answer those Let's questions. Let's see. Come on, guys, only three seconds left. Get those answers out. Whoa. Let's go answer quickly. And then moving up. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Count down to question two. Given by the agency of the Holy Spirit, who apportions to each member as he wills. The gifts provide all abilities and ministries needed by the church to fulfill its divine function. True or false? Ah, by the time true I'm or finished, false? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, they've long. answered. I think I know this answer as well. Let's keep it going. Into question three. You guys are doing really, really well. According to the scriptures, these gifts include such ministries as faith, healing, but not prophecy. Is that true right. or false? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, there's so many, so many gifts that we can have. And the Bible tells us of some. Is prophecy one of them? Let's move into question four. Question for proclamation, teaching, and reconciliation as spiritual gifts and ministries. Wow, this is deep. You guys I know. <laughs> do you know the answer? I don't even know if I do. But it's, oh, they certainly did. We're going now into question five. Let's go, guys. Some members are called by God and endowed by the Spirit for functions, recognized by the church in pastoral, evangelistic, but not teaching ministries. Is that true or false? True or false. Do you know Come on, guys. You can answer. Come on. Let's do it. Do it. Moving on to the next question. Question six. So we have different gifts. I will not call them all out. You're pastoral, evangelistic. We have different gifts. Why are we given gifts? That's the question for number six. Let's go. Right. Let's see if we know. All Come right. on, guys. That's right. Answer those questions. Let's keep it moving. Keep moving. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. It's so close. Let's move on to our next question. Question seven. When members employ these spiritual gifts as faithful stewards, the church is what? Is protected from what? This destructive influences of what? Wow. Right. This is, oh, yes. I can see, yeah, I, it, it's a, that's a good question. 
But I think that uh, we need to move into question eight now. Faithful use of spiritual gifts helps the church with a growth that is from God and built up in what? Come on, guys. These points are so close. And so you only have two questions left. So they may change. Let's see. Question nine coming right up. Some gifts are more important than others and are not needed by the church. Is that true or false? Some gifts yeah. are more important. Mm -hmm. Do do we need do we need all of the gifts I for wonder. church? Oh, okay. don't know. Oh, we'll be so close. Into our last question of this round. Let's yes. see, guys. Number ten. The fundamental belief that we are studying today is called what? What is it entitled? We've said it already. Should know this. Oh, very close. It's so. Close, Dr. Semper. I'm just wow. like amazed that, wow. um, yeah, but but you know, it's just so wonderful that they know these answers. I know I didn't know some of those. I would have had to read that question three or four times to understand it. You guys have been amazing. In 15 seconds. I know, that's amazing. Ah, I'd have to come in and, and do this quiz myself and see how I get on. I'll probably run out of time every single question. I believe I'll run out of time, but they're so quick. They're sharp. Parents, thank you again for, for joining us this afternoon. And, and not for joining us only, but for encouraging your boys and girls to be part of this afternoon. Thank you. We appreciate it. You, Jenny, it was a pleasure to have you. You know, you, you, it was really a delight as always to have you. But just share with You're us welcome. just very quickly, just tell me what you think is the most important thing that we can gain, that parents can gain from this experience? Well, you know, for the parents, it's like, um, as being a parent myself, just teaching our kids about the wonders of that's in the Bible. There's so many stories in there. And sometimes, you know, we look at it and we think, oh, we don't understand these words. But, you know, there are so many stories which are amazing in itself. And even learning about the our spiritual gifts it makes us think actually and use you, you as children to think actually what can i do what can i do for the lord what can i do to serve and you may not even realize how special you are you may not even realize how special the gift that you have is to you it may be like oh yeah i just play the piano oh yeah i can you know i could just talk but you know use that for ministry and that's going to be something that is very um, unique and people will be drawn to Christ because of that. And for parents, encourage your children, encourage your children to uh, find their gifts and to use those gifts for the Lord. This was such an amazing round. The, the children, the young women, young men, they have studied and we are really pleased with you. We just cannot say thanks enough to the parents. Parents, you are doing something for your children that will prepare them for eternity. So thank you so much. And at this time, we are gonna ask persons from the different territories to just give you expressions of thanks at this time. We are gonna start with St. Kitts. We wanna say thank you to Dr. Semper and her team for the opportunity to study the fundamental beliefs because it really helps us grow spiritually and we thank you for that opportunity. And I also want to encourage other young people to read the, read the fundamental beliefs. It mm. is really good. Wonderful. And thank you so much. And you're so beautiful. At this time, we shall have the representative from Barbados. Um, I just want to say thank you for all the persons who made this quiz possible. It's very fun. It's a good way to study the scriptures. And I hope that other children will come along so that they can also be studying the fundamental beliefs. Lovely. Right. Lovely, lovely, lovely. At, at this time, who is next? Um, Eugenie. So, um... Next would be Montserrat. I want to say thank you for the opportunity to participate in the SLC online quiz. We are, as children, we are learning a lot. 
I will pray that God will continue to bless the ministry. And I want to encourage, encourage the other boys and girls to study God's word because the edge of God's word gives light. That's Amen. Lovely. Thank Amen. you so much. That's so lovely, I'm Shani. And now we will have Antigua and Barbuda. Um, on behalf of Antique, the kids of Antigua and Barbuda, we want to say thank you to Dr. Semper and her team for allowing us to participate in this quiz so we can learn more about Jesus and to continue learning about our fundamental beliefs. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Sin here. We appreciate having you at this time. This is the time that you have been looking forward to. So now that you have given your thanks, we're just going to put the scores on the screen just to celebrate with you. Remember, it's not about winning, but it's about you just loving the Lord and falling yes. in love with his word. Let's see the scores on the screen at this oh, time. Oh, can't wait to see these. Mrs. Burton, it's really a delight to have you with us this afternoon. It's always a pleasure to have friends with us, just joining us on the South Leeward, at the South Leeward Conference to enjoy the time with our boys and girls. Our boys and girls are truly brilliant. And this is the time of life, as you, as you have shared, that is so important to study God's words. But guess what? At this time, we are going to look at the winners for each week. And remember, it's not about winning. It's about mm -hmm. Understanding God's words and falling in love with Jesus. So in week one, we had St. Kitts. In yes. week two, we had the UK. Oh! <laughs> and four, we had Montserrat. In week five, we had St. Kitts. In week six, we had St. Kitts. Yeah. In week seven, it was Montserrat and St. Kitts meant that, he, that they were coming back again. So in week eight, St. Kitts. Wow. In week nine, it was Montserrat. Ooh. Week ten, it was Montserrat again. So we see thank you, Montserrat, Montserrat, thank you, thank you, Montserrat. Nevis, I need to see you on the board. Antigua, I need to see you on the board. Next week, I'm rooting for Nevis and I'm rooting for Antigua next week. See you on the board. But this week, all the weeks have gone, but we are now at today. Mm. Today counts. The winners for today are none other than St. Kitts! Woo! Come on, Shani, put a smile on your face, Shani. <laughs> well done, well done, St. Kitts! Okay, everybody, thank you so much. So may God bless all of you and continue to do well. Let's just bow our heads, close our eyes, as we pray. And at this time, I shall ask Miss Smitten from Nevis, from St. Kitts, to pray for us, please. Miss Smitten from St. Kitts, kindly pray for us. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for affording us the opportunity to be here today. I ask that you continue to be with each and every one of us, continue to bless us, and continue to help us study your word so that we may show ourselves approved. Continue to guide God and protect us and be with us. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Bye, Amen. everybody. Everybody give me a little wave. Bye, everybody. And you know, when you look on the screen, bye, everybody. Y'all going smiling. <laughs> I love you. You all are so special. Uh -huh.